thousands of people got came to the golf is uh, today as well for the eighth consecutive day uh, to take part in the people's protest that has been happening for the past seven days. Today is the eighth day, and while much of the protesters are concentrated most towards the uh, to the entrance of the president's office, there are more protesters at the other side of uh, the protest site, uh, at towards the Shangri-La Hotel. Uh, there are more pro people, people from all walks of life, from around the country came here today as well. Uh, they engaged their displeasure and they demand, demanded the government and uh, the president to resign today as well. This is the first day I came here and I suppose it's not going to be the last. Right, we got together so many people, so many theatre groups that are practicing right now in Sri Lanka, the art of theatre and also the combined choirs to bring out a message to the youth of this country to join uh, together with us as artists to break, for, break the barricades of nepotism, corruption, bankruptcy and an absolute devastation that has befallen this beautiful country of ours. The people's protest held opposite the president's office in Colombo demanding the resignation of the president and the government entered its eighth day today. Religious sermons and almsgiving were among the activities that took place at the protest site this morning. Lord Buddha has said that the kings and leaders must be responsible to the people. The Buddha gave a base to the past and present systems of governance through the Dhamma. Former test cricketer Dhammika Prasad ended the 24-hour fast that he launched last morning. The speciality of this is that someone else will take over after me. If you were here last night and if you saw the flags that were waved, it would have made you feel like you're playing for the country. That is what I felt last night. Veteran actress Vishaka Jayavira began a fast at the protest site this morning. I don't know why this uh, small group of people are so greedy for power and why they are robbing our money and taking all what we have. And the only thing that I have to tell them is not to be so greedy and not to be so greedy for power. Please step down and give this younger generation a chance to rule this country. The alumni of the Sabaragamu University marched from the Fort Railway Station to the protest site. <laughs> 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 
Protesters used a variety of creative means to express their opposition against the government. Artists and environmentalists began painting a mural at Goldface Green today. What is being drawn here is a mural. This is what we call the protest mural. A mural to protest against the environmental destruction and the environmental degradation that is happening here. The decision to make this mural was taken only yesterday. It is the youth who are driving this movement and therefore it is the youth who has the potential to change this country to make yeah, uh, this Sri Lanka a better place in the future. And everyone is given a chance to do this, at least to have a certain amount of brush strokes in a certain area of the mural. Many people who have no political affiliations continue to pour into the protest site today. <laughs> We will continue this struggle until this government is expelled. Our fishermen cannot go to sea because we do not have fuel. How can we purchase fuel if we do if we try to go out to sea on a multi-day fishing vessel, we don't have diesel. If we try to go out fishing on our small boats, we don't have kerosene oil. How can we work? Our children are starving. Sri Lanka is destroyed. The Rajapaksa family sold and destroyed the country. This entire family sold the country and lined their pockets with the profit. We do not want any of them. The Joint Trade Union Alliance joined the protest march that began from the Lake House roundabout. It does not seem like the government is going to respond to this people's struggle. The government is still trying to fool the people and win this. We will be joining this peaceful protest with no party politics as members of the working class today. Meanwhile, Ashanti Karma was performed at the protest site opposite the president's office last night. <laughs> All 225 members of parliament must understand this message. We would like to ask all the MPs to prepare to return the money that they stole at the next parliamentary sitting. The people today are against all 225 members of parliament. All 225 are just playing a game. They are colluding with each other. We are fed up of this political system. We are looking for something new.